Hello, silly people, and welcome to the sunrise of a new day. Today is February 26, 26. Today is a draw what you like day. However, we are going to review some of the stuff that we did earlier. So let's get to it. So first we have shapes. Of course, you've done this before. You've done this before. We make a new layer. We pick a color. Leave it red, go to the brush tool. And we're gonna be flying today because we have some freestyle to do. So let's get active. Hope everyone's weekend was great. And now this is the final week. It's not even a full one. And while I quite enjoyed myself, well, that was terrible. It was hard work, but we'll get to the, we'll review all of this on Thursday. But right now we do what we're supposed to do. And that is work out, work. A lot to do, a lot to do. But this is our habit. This is our routine. Every, I would say every day, every day. But most, this is our, our workout set. That is 2D shapes. And let's go to 3D shapes. New layer. Let's rock it. Let's rock it. Cubes. This is all basic forms. The building blocks of everything around us. Now, I want you to have in mind what you're going to draw for your freestyle time. Well, that was terrible. What you can draw for your freestyle time. That was cubes. Cylinders. Cylinders. Yeah, we'll do the, the pyramid first. Don't stop. Wow. These are bad. But we do this to stay in shape. Stay in shape. This is day 26. And that was shapes. Now we're going to head on to head, head and hands. We've got the skull front view. Again, we're starting again from the top. There's always something to learn. We've got the cranium. All right, and this is where your brain's held. There is a orbital bone around the eye socket. We have the eye socket. And you have two of them, because, well, two eyes. We have the nasal cavity. We have the mandible attached to the skull proper. Right, we have the cheekbone that goes into the upper teeth. Cheekbone into the upper teeth. The bottom of the mandible and it is affixed to your skull. All right, your mandible is affixed to your, affixed to your skull proper by strong muscles to help you chew. Mouth line 
where the nose would be if, when there's cartilage and you're alive. Eye sockets. Eye line is here. The nose line is here. The ear is between the two between the eye line and the nose line. You have your eyebrow ridge and where your hairline would be. The side plane, the side plane. And that helps indicate if the light is from top, this would be well lit and everything else would be darker and the underside of the chin would be lighter. If the light comes from here, this side, this side would be lighter and this side would be a little darker and this that would be the darkest. So it helps us define the, the head in space, these two side planes. Let's move on right here. And again, we have the cranium. We have the mandible. The mandible nose line, eye line, eyebrow ridge, hairline. My mouth is between the nose and the chin. And the ears are between the eye and the nose line. So there, there. Side, coming around the orbital bone, around the cheeks, and then towards the chin. Going up around the orbital bone, the cheeks coming down to the chin. That's the basics of the head. Now let's move on to hands. What I tell you, we're flying through these. We're flying through these. Here is a hand. Give that man a hand. Your V, 50% opacity and brush tool. What is the building block? The building block is a modified box, right? If you can see the box, you can be the box, right? That's the hand box and the fingers radiate off this simple box. But let's erase that back. And now let's draw the hand properly. All proper like. So we're back to the brush tool. We have the hand proper, the palm going into the, the pinky. And all of this is where they bend, where the pinky bends. It goes up and around. So we have a straighter part, although it's slightly curved, but then we have these curves, right? Curvy, curvy, curvy. Yeah. All right, curvy, curvy, curve. And of course the thumb, can't forget the thumb. Uh, it goes into my palm and that okay the hand goes into the forearm the underside palm and to my arm and that is hand arm all right this is the mannequin and we'll make a new layer. We'll do the shapes. We have the circle, which simulates the cranium where the brain is held. We extend that out to make a, a simple oval. The middle is where the eye line is. So this is the way it's looking. The nose is between the eye line and the chin. The mouth is between the nose line and the chin. We have the brow ridge just above the eyes and the hairline. 
It's a side plane. Guys. Around the orbital bone, around the cheek, and down towards the chin. We'll make a box for the rib cage. A slight side plane. Shoulders. We got the hips with some slight tilt. It goes also some side plane. There that. Circles for joints. So shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, ankles. And we do cylinders for the limbs. So we got the arms, we got the thighs, we have the lower limb, the lower leg, we have the feet. So if we break it down, the heel, right? we have the arch, we have the ball of the foot, where you can balance on your the balls of your feet and the toes. So again, heel, arch, ball of the foot, and toes. We have the hands. Again, simple box. Fingers radiating off of that. Simple box. Fingers radiating off of that. It's got a spine, of course, and this is the line that indicates body positioning. Spine. So let's go over the muscles. Trapezius, neck, deltoid, shoulder. Tricep is on the back, brachialis is on the side, bicep is in the middle front. Middle front. You have pectoralis, clavicle, sternum, up along the rib cage, inserting it to the upper humerus. The brachioradialis is the lower humerus from the outside coming inward towards the body. External obliques, love handles, rectus abdominis, stomach muscles, upper, lower. And the dividing line is about the belly button. We have extensors and flexors in the arms that help move the hand and fingers. Gracilis, inside of the thigh. Adductor longus, a muscle coming, going towards the middle of the thigh. This is the femur bone, by the way, femur. So it's going towards the middle. The sartorius coming from the hip across the from the outside towards the inside of the thigh. Rectus femoris is in the middle of the thigh, a large muscle. Vastus lateralis on the outside of the thigh. Gastronemius is your calf muscle. Anterior tibialis is a muscle right next to the patellar tendon, which attaches to your knee, uh, your knee bone, the patella. The fibularis longus outside of your lower leg. And between the fibularis longus, the peroneus, and the anterior tibialis, which is next to the patella tendon, is the extensor digitorum longus. Now let's map that to the mannequin. Again, new layer. Here we go. We have the trapezius. We have the deltoid, deltoid. We have from the front to the back, with the bicep, the brachiata. We have the tricep on the back. Back to front, tricep, brachialis, bicep. We have the brachioradialis, from the lower humerus out coming in, on the outside coming in. 
brachial, brachial radialis. Outside coming in. Outside coming in. We have extensors and flexors. Flexors. And we have the pectoralis, clavicle, sternum, down and along the rib cage, up and into the humerus. On the rib, the clavicle, sternum, rib cage, up. There. We have the rectus abdominis, stomach muscles, right? All the way towards the belly button. That's the upper, lower. We have the external obliques, latissimus dorsii. We have the gracilis inside of the thigh. We have the adductor longus going towards the middle. Oh, sorry, gracilis. Adductor longus, sartorius. Sartorius from the outside hip towards the inside out in. We have the rectus femoris, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus lateralis. We have the patella, patella, patellar tendon, patellar tendon, gastrocnemius, calf muscle. That the anterior tibialis, right next to the patellar tendon, anterior tibialis. On the outside, we have the fibularis longus, fibularis longus, and between the fibularis longus, anterior tibialis, is the extensor digitorum longus. And those are the muscles. And that is a shorter form of our daily. So now let's move on to draw what you like. Freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. So today we're gonna to be doing lower of the silver hand. And these are some of the gestures I did for the character who is a Conan type. So these are the main inspirations for Lord of the Silverhand. We have Conan, we have Geralt of Rivia, who is the Witcher. I'm a Witcher. And we have uh, Vampire Hunter D. I almost blanked out her name. Vampire Hunter D. And I want to do lore in inks. And so, and he's a wandering warrior type and i thought these are great as inspiration for that but for now this is what we're going to do should we take one of these and blow it up and draw on top or should we draw something new usually when i start off i do Wandering Warrior. And then I list out just some things. Hard slash tough sword of some kind. Ragged. Just some thoughts. I, I usually start with whatever the title is, and some thoughts on what could be. And then I start drawing something. So, like there's the, there's always the pose. So say, he has his sword on his hip and his arm is draped across it to get an idea of what we're going for. This leg, 
and then this leg is out. Something like that. Uh, what else? Sometimes just the straight on. He's walking. So we have a swoosh like this. He's just traveling. Again. Or you could have a straight on bold. Right, he could have his arms out. He's got swords. And I'm just doing chicken scratch, right? This isn't, it's not supposed to be precious. It's not supposed to be, it's just to give you an idea about what you're, what could be, right? We don't know what it is. We just, we have an idea that we have a wandering swordsman with his swords out. I don't, I don't even know what this is. It could be... Or like this. Notice. He's got a sword in one hand. He's kind of ready, ready for action. And I don't, I usually don't labor over these too long. I'm just, just getting ideas out and down. I don't know. But I kind of like this one. Just the simple. Or maybe he has his arm out. And he has this a sword in this hand. Lasso. And we're doing whatever we wish today. Whatever we wish. And so we're going to go through the stages on this one. I'm using the arrow keys to move this into position. Okay. Uh, Command D to deselect. Now let's see if we can, let's clean this up by going through the simple shapes. Duplicate this layer, layer, duplicate layer. Then on this layer, I will delete everything except our figure. Delete. I got this. Let me delete. Select. I can turn that off. On top of this layer, we'll make a new layer. On this old one, we'll drop this back. So V, 40, 30, 20. Let's do 30%, 30%. Okay. Simple shapes, right? Simple, simple shapes. With the B for the brush tool, we kind of have a semblance here of where the head would be, drawing out the head. We extend that, well, extend that down. I kind of want him looking down. So because he's looking slightly down, we extend this out as a side plane. And it goes down. 
right? He's not looking directly at us. Cylinders. Okay, what are we gonna do for hip tilt? We're gonna have, so this is his main leg. So his hip is up. And then we'll have this one lower, the shoulder lower. For a bit of contrapostal, shall we? We're just messing around today. So for the rib cage, little modified box. This will be the side plane. This will be the front of the box. All right, this will be the side. Again, for the hips, we got side plane. And then of course, the circles for the joints. So we got shoulder joints. We got elbow joints. We have wrist. Wrist, because this one's draped over the sword. But the sword is just a prop for now. We're just sort of somewhere around here. So it looks pretty straight. So we have the elbow, ankle. Oh, don't get ahead of myself. Don't get ahead of myself. Knee joint, knee joint, ankle. All right, he has just like this. Oh, we could go you know, you know, if we want to flow. So we connect them with the cylinders. Cylinders, cylinders, and cylinders. We have the legs, we have cylinders, 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 and cylinders. He has feet, of course, and since he is off, pointing that way, right? his body is looking that way. So his feet are also heel, arch, ball, and toes. And this one's more facing towards us, so we can't quite see the heel. There's the arch, the ball, and the toes. Has hands, of course. So this one is more or less down. So we got the planes like this. Shallow box. Shallow box. And the fingers coming off of that. And this one is in a fist, so it's more of a, a cube, a modified cube. And there's other sword. It's coming out this way. Right? And this is the basic mock-up of our warrior. I think his head might be a little too small. So we'll lasso. And command T for the transform tool. And we'll take that up a bit. There's the return. And then command D to deselect. So on top of this, we're going to try to rough out some muscles. So let's drop this guy back, say V5 or 50%. And see, we're just building on top of. Right, so this was 
chest to gesture. This is simple shapes. Now we'll do some muscles. Just simple, simple muscles. We're gonna add it. We've got the traps. We have the deltoid. Deltoid, bicep in the front. We got the brachialis, brachialis, and the tricep on the back. All right, so bicep, brachialis, tricep on the back. We have the radial brachialis coming out and swooping back. So from the outside to the inside. Got extensors and flexors. So yes, right, we got the brachialis, radial brachialis, across and down, down into the arm. It's got extensors and flexors. We have, let's make that a little fuller. It's a fight man. He has a broad neck, broad shoulders. So for the Tismus Dorsey, it comes down. Oh, let's do the pectoralis. Sorry, pectoralis. <laughs> Same street. Got the sternum, we got the clavicle, clavicle, sternum, and the pectoralis. We go all right across this clavicle, down the sternum, around, and tuck into the upper arm bone, the humerus bone. So again, clavicle, sternum around and inserting in. All right. Again, we have the latissimus dorsi on this side. Coming in, we have the rectus abdominis. Say you're feeling on your hip right here. Your belly button is around here. So we have place to distinguish where the upper and then lower rectus abdominis. So we have the external obliques, the love handles, the gluteus maximus, the glutes coming off from the back side. You can't really see it. But we do have the gracilis, the gracilis, which is on the inside of your thigh. We have the uh, adductor longus, adductor longus, coming towards the middle of the thigh. We have the sartorius coming from the hip down and towards the inside, down and towards the inside. We have the rectus femoris in the middle of the thigh. And then the uh, vastus lateralis. Is that, where is that? The little one. And whenever you forget or can't quite remember, here's the, I regret, vastus lateralis. All right, vastus lateralis, grasping knees, calf, 
anterior tibialis, patellar tendon, fibularis longus, extensor digitorum. So let's go back, back to our guy. Gastronemius, threshold, it's the calf, gastronemius. We have the patella, patella, patella tendon, coming down, patella tendon. We got hamstrings. Got the vastus lateralis on the side. The anterior tibialis right next to the patellar tendon. Anterior tibialis. On the outside, we have the peroneus. Use the short name. The long name is what? Fibularis longus. Fibularis longus. Fibularis longus on the outside. Also called the peroneus. Extensor digitorum is between the two, the peroneus and the anterior tibialis. tibialis. Extensor digitorum. Let's move him up a bit, shall we? Select all the layers. Uh, lasso tool. Swooshy swoosh. Command T. And then move all of this upwards. Give him more space. Uh, return. And then Command D to deselect. Back to the brush tool. The brush tool. Brush. Oh wait, sorry. Go to that particular layer. So click off it. Click on the layer you're drawing on. Hit the B for the brush tool. And so for the foot, we have the heel in the back. We have the arch. Arch. We have the ball of the foot and then the toes. So again, we have the heel, we have the arch, we have the ball of the foot and then the toes. And then we have some semblance of our warrior. Of course, he has hands. What do you do with Dre? He's got to have hands. So we make the, the box. Again, the box. And the fingers coming off of that. And usually the fingers curl naturally. And usually the index is the straightest. It's slightly bent, but it's the straightest of the of your fingers. While your other digits fold in a little bit more. Let's give some indication. This hand. knuckles and the fingers folded in and the thumb and we have all these folds around this gripped sword handle so now we can add props like his other sword this arm's resting on. Him. 
But this is the basics. And that is pretty much our swordsman. We're now cleaning it up. And so we have, this is eye line, his forehead, well, his, his brow ridge. <laughs> Don't know why I was forgetting that. Brow ridge, hairline, Nose line is eye line in the chin. The chin is about here. His nose about here. His mouth is between his nose and his chin. So about there. I'm just blocking in his basic features. Before it comes out of there, it comes in around the cheeks. Towards the chin. His ear, nose line, eye line, behind the mandible, which is here, is his ear. And his hair, my wandering character has a full head of like these dreadlocks, tendrils coming down. This is all the blocking, right? We're just blocking it in. And so we can follow that side plane that we did earlier. Around the cheekbone and down towards the chin. And there we have our figure. All right, so let's check out the layers we've got. Our muscle, muscly muscle layer. We have our box form layer and we have our gesture layer. So let's name them those things. All right, and there's our figure. And so we put it all together. We put it all together. Nicely done, guys, nicely done. But since this is a freestyle day, I'll just, I'll just continue on with it. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm just gonna have fun with it. You can continue drawing or we could call this the end, but we're just, what am I going to do? V, we'll drop this back to say 50. So you'll be V 10%, V 20%, and V 30%. And then of course it's Layers, layers, layers. Should I bring in my guy? Let's bring in my guy. So when I'm using a pre-existing character, this is... And... All right, now I'm just using this as... I forget what his... His equipment, his equipment looks like. So we're using this as reference, right? As we draw again on top, I'll take all you guys below him. Now, new layer. I don't know what to call this one, full. Let's draw on top of this guy.
I'm just going to draw for about for half an hour until I feel that I want to stop, I guess. <laughs> this is a freestyle, less stressful. Right? We did our majors, we did our workout, and now we're just drawing for funsies. And I will try not to zoom in until the end. And I'm working just all over the place, not really focused on any one thing. We're just, we're just drawing. We're using the original stuff that we made as a guide. this red scarf that he can use to keep the dust out of his mouth as he travels in the open road. I usually draw him with a backpack because again, he's a wandering, a wandering warrior, wandering swordsman. go what I draw. Just working it all over. And I will use this line as this sort of belt thing. And he has like a red cloth around his waist. Just go away.
ways just about this. Let me have more of that right red sash. I wanted his primary colors to be black, white, and red. Because I had planned to ink this. And those are easily or easier colors for you know black and white images. I was thinking that he, you know, wandering, you got across rivers and you had to pull your, your mid thigh boots up so he can wade through water. But I need to look at reference for actual, what did they say, high top boots, uh, thigh high boots, I guess, would be a more proper term and getting reference for that and all that. And I guess you'd have to have a, a good pair of sturdy, sturdy boots if you're a wandering warrior because you don't know what you're going to have to climb. You're going to have to wade across rivers. You know, basically, you're spending your whole life out. gloves on. Scarf around his hand. And this one has a glove and it's wrapped up. Or something. That was a quick sketch. Now, whatever I would do with this is I'd probably, I could either print it out and then draw on top, making, you know, all my corrections and 
whatnot. Or I could take it, you know, I could still work on it here. You know, get props and uh, reference and then all right, fill them out a little a bit more, but it's not bad. But this is the process that you can use to take what you have learned or what the previous things that we were doing throughout the whole month is pretty much in this, all right? It's all about layering. One step leads to another step. So from the gesture to shapes to muscle, and then you can draw on top of that to put it all together. So it's all iterative, all right? That's all learning is. We're just taking what we've learned and then building off of that. So I hope that was something. <laughs> so let's take, let's take a look at the schedule. It says that we are here on Monday the 26th, we're just, we're trying to put all this together and drawing what we like, all right? All of this learning and trying to apply it into what we like. And tomorrow will be day two of draw what you like, draw what you like, draw what you like. And then we'll do a post-mortem on the 29th. So I hope you got some good drawings from it and I will see you on the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.